that is the sound of silence, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about the sound of silence uh, right here. Uh, this is a 2003 movie, a new movie. And uh, I believe I reviewed another movie with the same title maybe a year ago or two years. Um, this one is, is definitely different and um, different things going on here. Uh, so we'll talk about what this one is about. Um, starting with the IMDb plot, Emma must uncover the dark secret behind a cursed radio to survive and protect her family. Cursed radio. People still use radios? Uh, well, I guess, you know, it was technically her parents that were using it, so maybe they still used it? Okay, whatever. Um, so, a good reason to stick to your iPhone music or whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, the, the movie opens. You see an older couple here, uh, and um, the father here is tinkering with the radio and some other stuff uh, before, you know, something bad appears to happen, which uh, makes him end up in the hospital. Um, as you're introduced to Emma, Emma, uh, you see her kind of have involvement with music and so forth. She's supposed to do some kind of performance, uh, but can't really follow through on it. And uh, before she knows it, she gets called home for the news that, that her dad's ended up in the hospital. And, of course, she goes to be with her parents. And um, upon getting there, her mom is, you know, they, they kind of almost paint the pictures that, that maybe something domestic happened. And that's why this incident and why the father's there and why the mother is, is there in the hospital and so forth. But the mother kind of hints to the daughter that no, you know, something else is going on here. Um, he didn't hurt me. I didn't hurt him. And uh, before you know it, the daughter's like, yeah, so it's a good idea for me to go home to where this happened. And uh, I'm going to stay there while you guys are in the hospital. Uh, because why not? <laughs> uh, and uh, she brings along a friend or boyfriend I, I wasn't clear whether he was just a friend or he was a boyfriend I'm not sure and um, brings him along too and uh, basically <laughs> for, for more bad stuff to happen we need uh, more people to have bad stuff to happen to and um, she just starts you know kind of going through the house and, and seeing things and so forth and uh, they find an excuse to have the boyfriend leave and uh, after he leaves, she's going to stumble on more and more bad stuff. And, um, you know, they're going to unreveal what's kind of happening here. This is a new movie, and uh, so I won't spoil it. I won't get into too much detail about what is exactly happening here. Um, this one, again, is, is, like I just said, is a new movie. I really knew nothing about it. I at first thought it was a movie that I'd already seen. Uh, but then I was like, okay, maybe it's not. Uh, and so I just hit play and with no expectations on this one either. So uh, I would say, you know, as she starts doing this investigation and as, as you start seeing things happening, um, I thought it was pretty good. I, I thought it got off to a, a decent start. Um, the house is very dark. Why there was no lights or more lights, I don't know. Sometimes you wonder in these horror movies if the people know where the light switch is or whatever. I, I don't know, whatever. Um, but she likes creeping around in the dark house or maybe the electricity went off. I don't know, I missed it. But um, it's not pitch dark, but it is it's dark, setting the atmosphere, making the creepiness happen uh, for whatever reason. You know, I have lights on, lights are on. Um, even at night, and uh, <laughs> I, I do turn off the light to sleep. Um, anyway, uh, she, you know, she's stumbling around looking at things, and um, you know, she eventually comes across the radio and uh, starts playing it, and uh, you're gonna start seeing kind of things happen in the background. Um, you know, is it a person? Is it a ghost? What? You know, something's moving in the background. Um, 
you know, as she continues to the house and whatever, and she kind of awakens it, and uh, as she then continues to make noises in different parts of the house, um, somebody's there or something is there. And uh, I thought at least to start, they did a pretty good job of this. And, uh, you know, keeping you on your toes. Uh, jump scare, maybe not, maybe, depending on, you know, your level of, of easily getting scared. Um, it, it didn't get me to jump or fall out of my chair or whatever, but uh, I, I thought at least, you know, uh, as they, as they kind of unfold this to start, they did a pretty good job uh, of, of, you know, having this thing or a person, whatever, um, kind of appear and, and kind of, you know, as she makes a sound, you know, you you kind of then fall into it as you kind of get intense to know that, you know, it, the louder the sound or the more she makes noise that, you know, she's making something not happy uh, in the background. And... Um, that part of it is good, and, and and I liked that, and I liked to you know you know to get off to that start. Um, eventually, they reveal more and they more of of what this is, and what is you know whatever that probably did whatever to the dad and whatever's haunting this house now. Um, as it kind of rolls on, it kind of loses that effect. Obviously, you're gonna know uh, it's gonna hit to a point where you know what's what it is, who it is, and, uh, you know, then it, it's just not as creepy, and, um, you know, and then she becomes more face-to-face -face with it, so it's not as much of a jump scare, it's more of a, you know, how is she going to figure out how to get herself out of the situation then, and, you know, then once it kind of got into that, it kind of lost some of that, that effect and some of that good creepiness that it started with, and, um, you know, not to say that it was bad, bad, but, um, you know, I kind of liked that, that, that aspect of it most more. And, 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 and to me, that was the good part of the movie. Um, once you kind of found out, you know, what's going on here and once it's more obvious what's happening, um, then it was just okay. And then it just kind of felt a little more standard and, and so forth. Um, they do have a story to tell. There's a story that happened in this house before and why uh, this is happening now. A um, little bit of a weird story. and, and, and I'm not even going to say weird story. I don't know. Just I guess it just, there was nothing horribly special about it. Just a word, weird circumstance. Uh, 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 yeah, again, I'm kind of struggling a little bit because I, I don't want to give away too much about what happened or what, you know, the reason uh, things are happening now in this house. Um, you know, it did, I guess I'll say that it did involve a family and it just, it's just weird. And obviously it's going to have to do with sounds and so forth. Um, but just a weird ask, I guess, of, of what happens in this family um, for them to do. And it's a, a little bit sad too. Um, but whatever happened then is, is now kind of repeating itself now or has been awakened now and uh, again is involved this, with this radio and so forth that the father turned on and kind of awakened uh, the ghost or entity or whatever you want to call it and uh, now is, is, is after the, the daughter here. So, you know, you're going to get a little, you know, it's going to kind of take you back and take you into that story. You're going to find out what happened. And uh, then it's going to come back forward, and then you're going to find out how the daughter basically gets out of the situation. Um, another thing that I kind of found weird was once once you think the movie kind of settles and kind of uh, comes to that end, uh, they, they, you know, they, uh, I'm going to say, paint the picture of, of another, <laughs> I'm not going to say that there's going to be a sequel to this, but they just continue on. Like, you, you thought that maybe they ended the movie there. Um, but they do things to continue the movie. <laughs> I'm trying to try not to be too specific. But I guess, you you know, you see the radio and what happens to the radio. And then you see someone else who you've not seen yet um, have, like, a whole 
you know, I guess a bonus scene at the end of the movie without the credits rolling, I guess that's the best way to explain it. Um, it is weird that they add this scene there. Again, you know, maybe there will be a sequel or maybe they had more ideas of what they want to do or they just felt there's more storytelling to do in a different way. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, maybe it's one of those things that I missed. Maybe I should have paid more attention when the end in what I thought was the end ended. Maybe I missed something, but I I just thought it was weird. I, again, I don't want to give too much detail. If you watch it, I think you'll know. It, it, I'll just say it involves a picture and so forth. That scene, not sure why they included it. Um, obviously, the picture is familiar and, and so forth. But why they had to do that, I don't know. Um, it's the basics of it. Um, but yeah, so for this one, I'm going to give it 2.5 pools of blood. Um, basically because, you know, I, I thought it started off well and had a level of, of, you know, decent kind of scares or creepiness, whatever you want to call it. Um, with, you know, keeping this kind of shadow or figure kind of in the background. Uh, but I thought then it kind of wore off and, you know, I wasn't totally interested in the story they, that they told. And it was just weird or whatever, unusual or whatever. I don't know, just... I don't know what you guys think of it, um, but uh, you know I, I think it just kind of then kind of wore off a little 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 bit. And, and once you know what it is, and once it's there, um, that 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 you know it, it loses its kind of scariness. Um, and then the, you know the way she kind of tries to fight it off was a little interesting, but you know I guess it's kind of what you'd expect with the title being sound signs I, I don't know but uh so I guess you know the, the point is I guess it started off well in my eyes but then just you know didn't do enough at the end um to to score higher I guess so I'm gonna give it 2.5 pools of blood um you know sometimes to me the endings you know usually are what gives it the higher score and not <laughs> the beginning but in this case, you know, the earlier in the movie kind of did it for me, and then the back half didn't do it so much for me. So a little bit of a different different uh, thing happening here. So 2.5 pools of blood out of 5 in the end for, for Sound of Silence. And uh, horrorscorereviews.blogspot.com is where you can find all of my reviews, written and video. Um, please check it out. Obviously, I've done too many written ones lately, but... You know, you can kind of scroll backwards to find some written ones. Um, but if you're just interested in the video reviews, you can always just subscribe here. Like, notifications, all those things that everybody wants you to do. If not, no worries. Um, Twitter, Facebook information down below. Follow, like there too. Do it, do it. Or no, whatever you guys want. Uh, but feel free to reach out to me uh, there. Talk horror, talk about this movie, other movies, whatever. Uh, as long as it involves horror, I'm it's all good. And um, in the comment section, you know, if you do catch this movie, um, what did you think of that kind of backstory that they kind of told? It, it, I'd be interested in your thoughts on that. I, I don't know, just didn't didn't do it for me. Maybe you thought it was more interesting. I don't know. Um, so yeah, with that, I guess I will go to silence now and catch you on the next review, horror fans.